Hey everyone, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we will be reviewing the Marvel Legends What If Wave Heist Nebula. Here she is in the box. Comes with another gu or a gun and two hands, as well as the torso for the Watcher. Here's the side art and the back art. And it says, Tech Savvy and Brave Nebula is an intergalactic opportunist who is ready for adventure. So for the wave, we already got Zombie Cap, we already got T'Challa Star-Lord, we already got Cap uh, Carter, we need Zombie Hunter Spider-Man, we got Strange Supreme, we got Heist Nebula, and we got Sylvie. So, let's open up Nebula and see how she is. Alright, and here's Nebula out of the packaging. Um looking pretty normal comes in at just about six inches tall her accessories are a blaster which we have in this hand and then two extra hands that will switch out when we show the rest of the wave uh, quick 360 of her so for molding uh, they got the hair pretty well and then the rest of the molding it's basically nebula coloring it's very animated uh, looks pretty good honestly Hair really stands out, which it did in the show, so I'm not going to hold that against it. But, uh, yeah. So, let's talk about articulation. Head can go 360, up and down, side to side. Arms can rotate, 360, go up. Elbow joint is a... I'm going to just start calling it the woman's joint. Hand can rotate 360 and go up and down. Upper torso can rotate, go back and forward. Um, legs can go like so, and back like so, they can rotate at the thigh, and the knees can fold in, and feet can move around as well, pretty well. Uh, so let's look at the blaster, it's a little like snubby blaster, which is cool. Uh, can make her kind of look James Bondy or Charlie's Angels, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, so really quickly, let's talk about the figure. She's a uh, pretty good, kind of a uh, weird figure to choose for making this wave. I would have probably done someone else, maybe uh, the uh, Ultron Black Widow or something along those lines. Because Heist Nebula doesn't end up in the final crew. Neither does Zombie Spider-Man too, but uh, yeah, it's just, it was a weird choice to make this figure. I mean, we haven't gotten a Nebula figure since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but still in that, it's kind of just strange. But uh, let's put her next to the Guardians 2 Nebula. And actually, that is incorrect, I should say. We did get a Nebula head in the... Uh, Endgame Time Travel 2 pack, but that was a Black Widow and Hawkeye 2 pack, so technically I'm still right. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this Nebula is a lot less uh, robotics put on her, um, so she looks more normal, I'd say. But also, her head's like a lot bigger, which is standing out because the animation and the body's a little bit bigger, again, because of animation. So let's uh, do a quick cut here and put her next to everybody else and switch out her hands. So here she is with everybody else that we've reviewed so far. We're only missing uh, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. But uh, yeah, so ranking her, honestly, gotta give her about a 6 out of 10. My least favorite figure so far in this wave. Uh, just because it's kind of, it feels like they should have probably chosen someone else to make a figure of. Um, but still, it's a nice figure. Uh, but I do also prefer the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Nebula over this one. But yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Also, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and ring that bell. And follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you, have a great day.